Shields up, Iron Breakers. We're on here coming at you with another video. And today I'm here to talk about the European Parliament's ineptitude at regulating a platform of which they either have no understanding of or they are basically so corrupt and taking money from the music and television industry that they're just straight up going to screw over everybody else for the sake of the good almighty dollar. Or should I say the good almighty euro because we are talking about the European Parliament. Now, aren't we? And you guys are probably wondering, Rurikon, what the hell has you so bent out of shape? What is going on? And essentially, here's what I got to tell you. If you were lucky enough to live up until this day, if you're watching this video right now and you are alive, congratulations. You have successfully outlived the internet as we know it because of the corrupt politicians on the European Parliament who have no business whatsoever passing legislation on this platform. They clearly have no understanding on. You corrupt old senile bastards is what I have to call all of you that voted these damn bills into place. So now let's talk about the problem because probably a lot of you guys aren't even aware what the hell is he talking about. But all you got to do right now, if you're really curious about it, is you got to Google Article 11 and Article 13 and European Parliament and you will get to the places that you need to be in order to um, look these news up. But you might want to do it soon because once these things actually become law, which they are becoming, they have been voted in and it's just like only the, the finalized preparations are being worked on right now. Once these things become law, you might not even be able to find it on Google unless Google pays a friggin' link tax to link to the original documents because that's how it works. That's how it's going to work. So let's start by talking about Article 11. The website, by the way, that I'm on is the website of Julia Retta, who is one of the MEPs that was present during this vote. She voted against this legislation because she actually understands how the internet works, which is more than I can say for the other complete inept, inept or corrupt. I can't even make up my mind anymore. You're either completely inept and out of touch with what the internet is, or you're just flat out in the pockets of big media. That that's Those are your two only options. There is no third option because you have to be an idiot to vote this stuff in. So let's start by talking about Article 11. So there's a bunch of legalese when it comes to laws, which pretty much means that most normal people will not understand what the hell each of these bill of laws is. But Julia Retta made us the kind favor of distilling everything down into a couple of words. So the very first proposal is Article 11. Anyone using snippets of journalistic online content must first get a license from the publisher. This new right for publishers would apply for 20 years after publication. So what does this mean? Say, for instance, someone puts out a story about some kind of a mass shooting somewhere, which we have like all the time over in America, right? Or someone puts out a news about some kind of a strike or some kind of a, an event that is taking place, right? In order for that story to show up on Google, Google is going to need to have a license from the people that are reporting the news, which essentially means you can either go to the news website that has that posted this bit of news, or you don't actually get to see the news because if you go to Google and you just Google it up, unless Google pays them a link tax, you can't find that news. And what does that mean? That means that you have to completely believe this website or you have to manually go to other websites. You can't just Google up the news itself and get a nice little list of all of the websites reporting on this news so that you can actually get perspective, which essentially means you're not going to have as much information available to you to make up your own mind about the events that are unfolding in the world. World, which is completely and utterly ridiculous if you take into account that right now the internet is literally the only news source that you can actually trust. You can't trust television news source. You know that they spin their own narratives for their own agendas. It's ridiculous how much we, we how many fake news we've been getting out into the world, regardless of what country you live in, regardless of what news is being reported. It's all being spin up in so, with some agenda in mind. And so far, you have been able to go to the internet and actually consult with independent websites that report on these news and that actually give you a clearer picture of what is going on so that you can form your own opinion. Well, can't do that anymore. As a matter of fact, this particular bill of law, pretty much I can't do what I'm doing right now, which is to show you a website that is giving you a bit of news so that I can give you my take on that bit of news. I can't do that. It's illegal for me to actually do that under this bill of law because I did not get a license from the author in this particular website. 
Is that not completely and utterly ridiculous, especially in today's environment where basically everyone is turning to the internet to get their news? How, how does something like this get voted into place? Like I said, two reasons, incompetence or corruption. There is no third option, incompetent or corrupt. That's what the people who have voted for this bill are. But don't you worry, it's going to get a whole lot worse because we haven't even talked about Article 13. Now, Article 13, arguably for regular people on the internet, probably doesn't make that much of a difference, but it makes one hell of a difference to creators around the world. Anyone that is using the internet as their platform to create content, whether that content is about video games, whether that content is about news. Doesn't matter what kind of content we're talking about. If you produce any kind of content on the internet, congratulations. Shit just got way worse for you. So let's talk about the proposal. Once again, we have a bit of a simplified version of what the proposal is. Internet platforms hosting large amounts of user uploaded content must monitor user behavior and filter their contributions to identify and prevent copyright infringement. So what does this actually mean? It means that like, for instance, on YouTube, it is now YouTube's job to ensure that copyright is not infringed upon. It is not upon the users themselves to not infringe copyright. Is It is YouTube's job. Now, anyone that creates content on YouTube, you have no doubt have had to deal with the MCA takedowns, false flagging, people false flagging your videos for whatever reason doesn't even matter. Basically, putting content up on YouTube is already pretty ridiculous. I personally have to deal with co bogus copyright flags on a daily basis. I mean like completely fake, like Joe Schmo up in the corner somewhere started a CPM on YouTube, which is like a platform that basically allows him to claim videos and he can just go up to my channel and start claiming my content. You guys are like, I mean, but surely you can do something about that. Yeah, I can do a counterclaim. And then he has 30 days to respond and take legal action. 30 days during which someone can already steal any of my videos. And I do mean literally any of my videos. Like if I do a video just with a face cam, doesn't even matter. If I do a video that's completely 100% my content, I'm not even talking about fair use right now. If I do a video about anything, Anyone can go in there and claim it for themselves and they will have my video for 30 days. They will monetize my video for 30 days and they will take the money and run and there is literally nothing I can do about it. That's how it is right now with YouTube having what one could almost consider a light-handed approach. Once this thing actually goes into law, which is going to go because it's been voted in, it is going to be much, much worse. And you can expect all of the, co you know, the complete garbage content ID claims that you are getting right now are just going to get increasingly worse, which is just completely and utterly disgusting. Whoever voted this has never once created one piece of content in the internet. I don't believe you if you say that you did because you would be aware of these problems, which once again just means you're either inept at your job, an incompetent idiot that has no place in doing what the hell you're doing, or you're corrupt and you're in big media's pocket and you deserve Ugh, so many bad things to happen to you, but I got to control myself. I can't be too violent, but good God, I just want to slap every last one of these people. I just want to slap them across the face for being so naive, for being so dumb, or for being so dirty, okay? Ugh, I'm so pissed off right now. This is ridiculous. Like, you need to understand something. There is something when it comes to copyright, which is called fair use, which is what enables, like, most creators to do stuff like reviews, to criticize something, to do social commentary on something, to, to talk about things, to actually expose your opinions or maybe even expose falsehoods, to expose fake news, to actually be able to report, to, to have an independent source on the internet. That is why fair use exists so that we can actually criticize things. You already have video game developers like exercise, like completely overstepping their boundaries and performing DMCA takedowns on YouTube channels over nothing, over someone having a negative opinion of their video games. This is happening on a daily basis. We see it. And now you're going to give them even more power so that they can do it even more? If anything, the only thing the copyright reform needs is 
better definition of what fair use is so that we can actually put that into law so that we can distinguish, hey, that dude just uploaded the Lord of the Rings movie. We should probably take that down because he's not entitled to monetize that. Or, hey, that dude just did a review for Lord of the Rings movie. That should probably be kept up because it's an opinion piece. And he's basically informing the public about something. He's giving his take. He's doing something that is constructive. He's adding something. This is completely and utterly ridiculous. I have no respect for anyone that has voted these laws in because you have no idea what it takes to actually create content on the internet. You are so out of touch with reality or you're just completely corrupt that you just... I just hope that you live long enough to regret the decisions that you have taken today. You make me sick and your greed and or ineptitude have basically made the internet a worse place for your children and your grandchildren and your great grandchildren. So congratulations, idiots.